Ariel Square 4. This quarrel was designed by Edward Turner, who sketched it out on the inside of his cigarette pack. In the basics, those were 280 grid inline twins sharing one engine block with poor geared crankshaft. The bike was produced for long 28 years with various modifications during that. Honda CB1100EX Vintage look is making its way into present time and one of such motorcycles is the Honda CB1100EX, a modern successor to the CB750 made since 1969. This bike however has 400cc more over the old one, similarly simple design and a beautiful rumbly sound of a 421 exhaust. Tundap K800 There is just a few box engines mounted in a two-wheel chassis like Honda or BMW. Tundap once came up with another one, a four-cylinder design many years before Honda created their own. It was installed in a unit construction with sharp drive. Honda NR750 This is the NR500 evolution. While the 500cc was an oval piston unsuccessful race bike, the 750 has elliptical pistons and was meant for roads. There was only a limited number of them made, but despite its expensiveness, it was advanced and pretty good sounding. Yamaha YZF-R6 The R6 is a thing just like its biggest sister, the R1. It definitely cannot catch it on a straight line, but the 600 has smaller pistons, therefore likes to rev much higher, and once the road gets twistier, it has its advantage. Over the years, the peak power RPM raised from 12.5 to 14.5 thousand RPM. <laughs> Indian 4 The Indian 4, to be honest, is the first longitudinally mounted inline 4 bike I have seen. It was based on a Ace chassis bought prior to the 1928 production launch. It was an inlet over exhaust unit, meaning that it had overhead intake valves and exhaust side valves. Honda VFR 400 Honda has a long history of V4 engines. 
from tiny four stroke 400 cc's up to a MotoGP championships winning two strokes. Back in good old times, Japanese were once making 250 and 400 cc four cylinder motorcycles, one of which was this VFR 400 with almost 60 horsepower and very easy handling. RG500 Gamma. The RG500 was another type of a square engine, however using the two-stroke cycle. It was extremely similar to the GP bike using liquid cool engine with a rotary induction valve. A 400cc version was also made, losing up to 36 horsepower. <laughs> Honda ST1300, the sport touring or pan-European in Europe, was a series of 1100cc and 1300cc bikes meant for long tours. The small engine version was older with carburetors, and later after the 1300cc unit came along, Honda even experimented with a 1500cc V6 engine. Agusta F4. Among supersports, the F4 is not that recognized as a, let's say, BMW S1000RR or a Yamaha R1, but still not less interesting. It's been around for a long time now, and the output of the 1000cc unit climbed from 166 up to 195 horsepower. Also, with a stock exhaust, it kinda reminds me of Ferrari. 